So I'm not a big fan of bad for you food. I like things that are clean and good and delicious, all while being nutritious and uh, not going to make you terribly, terribly fat and greasy. But there's just something about a peanut butter waffle and cheesy spicy hash browns from a greasy spoon diner that is just legit breakfast food. Speaking of Greasy Spoon Diners, I am going to do the book burger tag. I was tagged by Cheryl of Cheryl301, so I'm going to be getting to that in just a minute. But after I went to breakfast, I decided that it was an amazing day out, and I really, really wanted to go walk around a couple of shops. So I did, and I'm going to show you what I bought, uh, except for the cat food, because I'm pretty sure you don't care about that. Um, yeah, so let me show you that really quick, and then we'll continue with the book tag. First things first, I bought some adorable Halloween-y notepads because I'm a paper goods collector for no good reason whatsoever. So I have lots of cute Halloween paper and have no idea what to do with it. So if any of my lovely subscribers would like a letter from me, let me know because I've got loads of stationery. Next I got this adorable Halloween kitty cat tin. It's so so cute, it looks like my black cat, the one that you hear all the time meowing in the background. He looks like that, basically. And then I got some really cute uh, strawberry cake, strawberry cake erasers. Oh, they're adorable. They don't smell like strawberries, but uh, that's okay. So those things were all a dollar or less because I... I'm going to spend loads of money on that kind of stuff, but I did buy a couple of things that were more than a dollar, so that would be my NYX Coffee Liquid Eyeliner because the brown eyeliner I had wasn't very good, and my Rimmel's Bordeaux um, lipstick because it looked like a really great color, and apparently this is in for fall, and I'm not a fashionista by any stretch of the imagination, so don't take my word for it. But as I understand it, dark colors like this are in. But uh, that's not why I bought it. I bought it because the name was Bordeaux. But um, that aside, I tried to put it on for you and made a total mess all over my face. So I took that off. And uh, last thing I got was the um, Snow White and the Huntsman movie because I've been dying to buy this. And it was on sale at Best Buy, so I got it. Um, I don't know. I've been thinking about watching it again for the last three or four weeks now and just never did go get it. So now I've got it. Luckily I got it while it was on sale. I really like this film. This movie is basically about how awesome Shirley's Throne is and how much I really wish Kristen Stewart wasn't in it. Okay, so let's get to the actual book tag part now that I've shown you random things. So first we need the bottom button. Choose the first book in a series that you loved. I have chosen Melusine by Sarah Monette, the first book in the Doctrines of Labyrinth series. I know you've seen this before. Um, not this specific book, you saw The Veer 2, which I believe I did in the My Genres tag. I decided to pick the hardcover copy simply because it would make this tag stacking business a lot easier. Now we need the burger. Choose a really meaty, over 400 pages book that you have read and enjoyed. I have chosen Battle Royale by Koshin Takami. This book is over 600 pages and is awesome. Good stuff. Very violent, very graphic, but excellent. Next we add a thin slice of cheese and lettuce. Choose two thin books, one that you've read and enjoyed, and one that you haven't read yet. I've chosen The Emperor's Soul by Brandon Sanderson. This was really good, under 200 pages. The other one would be The Lord of the Flies by William Golding. I think it exceeds 200 pages by about 6 pages, so that counts to me. That's probably only because it's in this little tiny version. Time for a nicely sliced tomato. Choose an average sized book that you loved or hated between 200 and 400 pages. Well, I no longer have any books that I hated, so I'm going to go with The Bone Key, which I really enjoyed. Also a Sarah Monette book, totally different from her Doctrines of Labyrinth series. This is a bunch of ghost stories, all uh, from the point of view of the same character, so these are really good. Now you add a sauce that you've never tried before and you don't know if you'll love it or hate it. Choose a book that you thought you'd love but hated, or thought you'd hate but loved. 
We're going to go with The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Based on my reaction to the first book of The Lord of the Rings back in 2003, I thought I was going to hate this, but it turns out I really enjoyed it. It was fun. And, uh, yeah. The Hobbit. And finally, we need a bun on top to complete our burger, so choose the last book of a series that you're dreading the release of because it signals the end of the series. Well, the last book of a series that I'm not looking forward to the end of because it will signal the end of the series, Sad Face, uh, hasn't been titled yet, so we're gonna put Hunted in a stand-in. This is The Iron Druid Chronicles by Kevin Hearn. The last book is actually three books away, but I'm still dreading it because no more Atticus, except in short stories potentially, but oh, no more Atticus. So this is our finished book burger. Melusine, Battle Royale, The Emperor's Soul, Lord of the Flies, The Bone Key, The Hobbit, and Hunted standing in for whatever the last book of the Iron Druid Chronicles is going to be named. So yay, here you go. These are all good books. If you haven't tried them yet, you should try them. So I'm not going to tag anyone specific today, but I am going to say if you haven't already done this tag, and you do, link me so I can watch it. Also, because I forgot to mention it when I started the tag, this one was originally begun by Ryan Reed's Books. So you can go check out the original, you can check out Cheryl's, and hope you do your own. Thanks guys, bye!